and I'm making this video today about the full moon in Libra that happens on Wednesday, May the 10th, around the middle of the day here um, in the U.S. Now, this is going to be in the nakshatra of Vishaka, which is uh, around the end of Libra, um, and it's the last 20 degrees of Libra and then the first 3 degrees and 20 minutes of Scorpio, so it's where the moon is in its debilitated state, at least it's nakshatra of debilitation, but um, it's in Libra, the sign of relationships. So if you want to know how this influences your sign, only 50 cents, you can um, you know, get access to it because the full moon in Libra will be different for you than it will be for the other 11 signs. This full moon is opposite the sun in Aries, that exalted sun. So, you know, this exalted sun that we've had in Aries for the last few weeks has really brought about a lot of fiery individuality, um, strong personal identity, personal focus. It's been a good time to really start new projects or get back on track with some, um, you know, you know, perhaps projects or things where you've lost your vision a little bit because the sun is that planet of vision and of, um, you know, inspiration. And so being exalted in Aries shows where we move forward with a lot of force um, on, those, on those ideas and those ideals. Um, and so for the last few weeks, we've had that sort of motivation. And, you know, especially after the sun goes through the signs ruled by Saturn, Capricorn and Aquarius, then Pisces, which is kind of mystical. When it goes into Aries, we're ready to really take charge and express our individuality. So why am I talking about that? Because then the full moon comes two weeks later, which is this full moon in Libra, and it's harmonizing that individual, you know, I'm the most important thing, my power, my vision is the most important thing, with that reflection, with that mirror image, that mirrored reflection that tries to connect with other people, with other people in relationship, in, you know, you know, comparison and contrast and listening to others and adjusting to their needs, what they want, those kinds of things. And so Libra has that quality where we're now really saying, okay, is all this, you know, personal strength and power, you know, is it enough for me to just be strong and powerful or do I want to make sure to be able to share it with others? And so this full moon is a time to really look at that and see how well we're doing that. Um, Notice the quality and content of our relationships. In contrast to our strength and individuality and personal will. So, you know, these are attributes of Libra. And when the moon is full, that's what's in our mind. Our mind is full of that lesson. Um, and again, it's in contrast, in opposition to our actions and our soul, which is the sun, being in Aries. So you have a full moon always in, the, in a sign that's opposite the sun. So that sun of spirit, individuality, inspiration, you know, based on our true identity is one thing that motivates us. But then how does that feel? And how does it feel in comparison to others? And how am I able to connect it with others? That's a big lesson now with this full moon in Libra. This one is in Vishaka Nakshatra. Vishaka is ruled by the gods Indra and Agni, which are the gods of lightning, the, you know, the inspiration that comes from the heavens in the form of lightning, and Agni, which is the fire, fire of consciousness and awareness. Um, and so these bring about a sort of larger crusading quality of those Virgo attributes, I'm sorry, of those Libra attributes. What I've seen many times is this quality of Libra is more about social justice and social, uh, or I should say, you know, those qualities of Indra and Agni, which are about fire and inspiration, come into a very social realm of, you know, when they're in Libra. Um, I'm sorry, because they rule the nakshatra that's in Libra. So this combination of striving and, you know, you know, purpose and principle, which is Vishaka, takes on a very social 
nature in Libra. So often people who have planets in Vishaka, they're not just about their own personal relationships, but they're about evolving them towards something more universal. Or many times even you'll see where their, their personal relationships, their personal romantic relationships, actually become sacrificed a little bit for these larger ambitions. And often they want to align with people in relationships, let's say, who share their big world vision. So there's a, when, when there's a lot of planets in Vishaka, the person will have that kind of larger world vision. And rather than it just being about individual relationships, it's about social relationships and changing the world in the kind of social contract, which includes things like politics and um, culture. So these are big themes behind this full moon in Libra. Um, as I record this on May 8th, you know, there was just a big election in France where these larger social themes were you know, talked about and brought to referendum. So we see that playing out. Now we have exalted Venus. Venus is the ruler of Libra and Venus is still exalted in Pisces where it will be for the next um, like six weeks or so until the end of, no, I'm sorry, for the next like three weeks, until the end of May. So um, this brings a higher quality and in fact in some ways it's, a, it's sort of the culmination this full moon in Libra and then the new moon in Taurus in two weeks is sort of the culmination of this Venus, this exalted Venus transit. Venus has been exalted since the end of January. So again, because Venus rules Libra and also Taurus, we should have really gotten quite a few relationship lessons the last few months um, and looked at our nature and how we deal with them, how we relate to other people, our habits, our problems, our buttons, how our buttons get pushed, how we respond, and all that stuff, with Venus having been exalted in Pisces for four months, and you know, part of that being a big retrograde cycle as well. So you may feel yourself moving forward, um, or at least having some pretty major breakthroughs with the full moon in Libra around these Venus themes, because again, when the moon is full, we're full of that thing. So being full of the Libra energy now is a time to be um, you know, cognizant of how well we are handling that thing in our life. And given that Venus is exalted, which is the ruler, there's a lot of energy and wisdom flowing through that area now. Um, again, as I said, because it's also been exalted for several months, we've been kind of back and forth in the spin cycle around how we deal with other people, our habits and tendencies, shortcomings, things we can improve. So these are the main themes of this full moon in Libra. If you'd like to see how this full moon in Libra will impact your sign, you can check that out, only 50 cents, and you can get the member forecast um, for all 12 signs, not just yours, but for all 12, because again, these lunation cycles influence each person completely different based on their sign. So for instance, if you're a Cancer, then this full moon in Libra is your fourth house, which has to do with the heart, emotions. If you are a Sagittarius, this full moon in Libra is happening in your 11th house. Totally different, literally completely different experience. And so for only 50 cents, if you're not a member, you can get access to that and also get access to two weeks of daily forecasts. Um, and then if you like it, then you can stay a member and just um, keep getting the monthly fee, but you can cancel at any time. You can try it now for 50 cents, and if you don't want to stay a member, you can you know, cancel before two weeks, and that'll be that. But either way, it's very important to know how this full moon in Libra will influence you, not just in general.